All right guys, it's Hitran here, the unnecessary programmer. And in this video, you're going to see my attempt at learning JavaScript in one week. Wow. I've been a software developer for seven years and as far back as I can remember, I disliked front-end development. Maybe it was because of my first working experience. I started as a front-end developer, a trainee actually, and I, one month I was constantly fixing bugs like, ooh, that's the wrong font. Ooh, please move this text two pixels to the left. It was ruining my feng shui or something. Maybe another reason is that if you actually gather all of my front-end development knowledge and put it into one page, the art of work that is going to be created is something like this. But it was very unsatisfying work and I actually asked to be moved to the backend development team where I was transforming one object to another object in a web service. So dreams do come true. Now, after seven years, I still had the same limiting belief. I think that front-end development sucks. Well, why? Because of one bad experience? I say, let's challenge our limiting beliefs and try and learn JavaScript in a week. Of course, I'm fully aware that you cannot master JavaScript in one week, but at least I'm going to attempt to accumulate enough knowledge so I can create a pretty simple game. And I have a full-time job, so this will be done in my spare time. So my hopes are really not that high, but let's see. See you guys tomorrow. You can do it! Good morning, everyone. It's um, 5 a.m. Oops. If this isn't a dedication to this video, I don't know what is. It's March the 8th, I've got some caffeine and yeah, my plan is to push out two hours, three hours of uh, learning before my actual job. Uh, I'm going to take the following approach. I'm going to um, follow some YouTube tutorial because that's my favorite way of learning things and also I'm going to read some documentations next to it. I know that it's not the best approach but I like how somebody else has already done all the needed work and assimilated everything in 8 hours. 8 hours? Oh my... 8 hours. We better get going. All right, we are two hours in, in our tutorial. Uh, this is what I got so far. As a whole, we went through all the basics, pretty uneventful. The one thing that confused me was the usage of var, let and const. Uh, because it wasn't explained in the tutorial, I did some digging. And for all of you that are wondering, const is used for constant and not changing variables. Let is used for variables that are declared and used in a block or a scope. Var is used simply for the whole script. You can access the var variable even before the actual assignment. Well, to be honest, Tuesday and Wednesday were a wreck. I wasn't able to go through any of the tutorials that I wanted to. I was very busy with my actual job that feeds me and writing microservices in Spring is very motivational. So I'm hoping that I finish up all of my learning cycles until Friday or Saturday morning so I can start developing the snake game after this. All right, I'm pretty much finished with this tutorial. I try to do most of the games on my own as a practice and then just check my result by comparing with the tutorial. This is in my opinion the best way of learning new information get the basics and then jump into resolving some problems. I must say I was missing out on web development. It's pretty cool. By the way, something really neat in JavaScript that I really liked was using the one, two and three equal signs next to each other. The one equal sign is used for assigning to a variable and the two equal signs in JavaScript is used for comparing two variables. 
which is pretty much the same in Java, but it ignores the data type. I thought that uh, that was pretty neat. The three equal signs are used for comparing two variables and also including the data type. Here we created this web page that you're seeing. You calculate your rage in days. You generate cat gifs. A simple rock paper scissors game. Challenge 4 is for changing all the button styles through our JavaScript. The final challenge is a basic blackjack game, which was the most complicated one and it was actually very satisfying to complete. As a whole it was very smooth because my final goal after all is to create an actual game, so good on me for choosing this tutorial I guess. It's, it was by design, so... I also spent some time reading on some documentations, but I'm not going to bother you guys with all of that. I just needed some more basic information on some concepts in JavaScript. So, now, the snake game. With all the skills we've gathered, it looks fairly simple to do. And there are a lot of tutorials on this subject, so when I get stuck and I need some help, I can look around. Uh, let's hope we don't reach that noob point, because by this point we are goddess of JavaScript. Nice, after all this work that you just saw, we have a square on the screen. We are running it on a local host, of course. I guess all this hard work does pay off. Try not to subscribe too hard. But enough messing around, let's actually see if I can manage something more. One eternity later. Honestly, guys, I ran out of time at this point. I know it's unfinished from an animation standpoint. I want this experiment to be fair, so this is it. Um, this is what I was able to do in a week. I wasn't able to finish the methods for animating the body and the corners, but it is what it is. I wanted to add a fully animated snake with different corners when we took the turn. Also, I wanted to do a, not a square for a body, but rather a proper snake body with a tail. But this is it for one week, I guess. At least I managed to add the head animation and the sound for eating the apple, which I think is magnificent. I'm pretty happy with the result because we have a playable game. And of course, there is a game over screen as well. Thank you everyone for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this one. It was pretty hard to make. Uh, I had to go through some mental blocks. But yeah, leave a comment. Let me know how I did. And of course, slap like or slap dislike. And see you in the next one. Bye!